Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. It is your course on Underworld Police Chief AP Gaines. And we have a new intern. His name is Ian. He actually was a criminal. He's since been to jail, reformed. He's on the up and up again. Ian, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I've had better days, but uh, I'm very glad to be the intern for today. Mm -hmm. Thanks for well, having me. It's fine. You're not getting paid, so, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We're going to talk about new Galactic Legend counters, budget counters that don't involve Galactic Legends. You're obviously huge over on the theory crafting side of this game. Counters before they were murdered. Counters now that they've come back. And you actually camp with a couple of counters that we've been testing the last 24 to 48 hours, uh, which are ridiculous. And we kind of been saving for maybe a video format because we kind of want to wait for GAC so that they can't act on them before GAC starts because that would be a huge bummer. Yeah. And then maybe we get positive feedback. So I'm going to go off with uh, with one of yours, but it's, I'm just going to lead off with it to get the video okay. flowing here. So, so I'm giving you full credit for your idea. Don't want to steal your thunder, but just for the video purposes, I'll fire it off. Um, so Ray is a, is a character who's a beast on defense right now, right? Yeah, definitely. And um, there's a couple of mechanics in this game where there's like loopholes. Like, for instance, Darth Vader, you know, he gets speed for Empire and Sith, but if you have EP, he's Empire and Sith, it doubles up. Um, I see a lot of people are probably following along here. Uh, for example, characters like 3PO and Chewie can kind of game their own thing where like, he gets and spreads all of the buffs uh, if there's a rebel leader, but he's a rebel, and if he's in the leader slot, he does the same thing. So what we do is we compile all of those characters who have gaming mechanics. We go Darth Vader lead, we go 3PO and Chewie lead, we actually run two leaderships in the same squad, then we throw in three Galactic Legends okay. without their ultimate. And then we pray, and then we spend a little bit of money on crystals, a little bit of money on new marquee characters, and then we hope it works. And uh, you actually were very gracious to let me know about this strategy so I can get it prepped for my yeah. GAC round. And uh, I just hope that other people can start to implement well, this before they take it I, away. I want to still keep this kind of on the low, like mm -hmm. kind of pr proprietary, but... I think over time, people will adopt this strategy and use it in their own GAC. So, I mean, in a sense, I'm kind of glad we're still going to be sharing this for today. We don't have any test testing footage to show or any gameplay Yeah, like because that. We, we don't want to give them ammunition to start taking shots yeah. at us over a couple games. Yeah. So, the, the, exactly. the footage will be secret. You're going to have to come to Ian's stream to see that testing. Yeah. But uh, can you fire off the next counter that you uncovered? Yeah, so I'm going to go over some of the Separatists. So, we're talking about, if you come into the game... Grievous. Grievous is just such a monster right now. He can counter, I think, almost every single GL besides Lord Vader. Um, and that's just because I haven't really seen any Lord Vaders for me to test against in my arenas. Um, but the team is going that to be... That just means be... your arena mates are poor. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I want to say Fatal is out jobs. there watching the playbook. Poor. Kind of kind of poor man you gotta bump those those numbers up get some lord vader i mean how am i supposed to show to the world how to counter lord vader if i don't even have one to test you know mm -hmm. it's one of those things yeah anyways lord lord vader is just a bit of a bitch right now grievous though he can handle it handle not just one gl but i would say a good handful of them and you know a big thing right now as to why is because of white sambor and you know how Watts and Borg got his changes? Well, actually, they were not that bad. They were actually good changes for the Grievous team and the Separatists because now he can be slotted in here to get some more revives off and to get some more of those techs off that are just so, so delicious. So I'm going to go here, Grievous, Watt, B2, B1, and then I'm going to throw in a new and a GBA. So we're going to have around seven, eight characters here on the field. I know that's a bit much. But if you have an ally, you can call in like a, one of those on your ally list. Call them mm -hmm. in. You can use one of their characters. And that's the probably the best way, in my opinion, to get this team going. So we're going to have a few different taunts here. Um, GBA and his brew, that's one. And then we're going to have also IG Magna Garden. So keep in mind we have some techs here. We're going to have some tank tech we're going to throw off onto the brew. And then we're going to throw the med pack onto not actually GBA, but also, or not also, but we're going to throw that guy onto Grievous. Because Grievous, you want him to be as healthy as possible with that med pack to never have him fall below. So that's going to be kind of nice because then we're going to have some marks bouncing up and down all over the place to these different droids. And, uh, you know, it's a nice different counter because his leadership with all these different separatists, you know, they're going to be hitting all these target locks, getting so much turn meter. And uh, just kind of almost in a sense, like I've seen this happen against a Master Luke and a Ray, even a Kylo. Um, even with Huxer and a Kylo team, you can get some major, major turn meter loops. And it's it's crazy to see here because 
target locks just bounce off from Grievous's AOE. You have some other different droids that can also inflict it. The only the only downside that I would say to this team is if somebody on the enemy team has a cleanse. But if they do, that's just the part of it. You have some stuns here. You have a Grievous stun. You have a Magna Guard stun. And you just kind of get down right to business and kind of just stop those guys from cleansing and go on to those other more important guys and get them out of the way first. So I would say the next best counter here to a GL is Grievous and the boys. So that's and mine. once Trench gets added, I mean, his stunlock potential oh. is going to be crazy. You're going to be getting down yeah. and or dirty. And speaking of things that I want to get down and especially dirty with, we're going to talk about the next counter. This is actually a counter for SLKR. People are placing SLKR on defense at higher clips than we've seen in the past. And yeah. kind of to meet this change to address the, the ever-changing meta, because you'll, as a, as a tester, as someone who does um, all of this, you know, all of these strategies, it's important to follow the ever-changing meta. And, you know, Kylo Ren, also known as Ben Swolo, at heart, he's just a simp. I mean, we saw him try to get Rey because, you know, you know, join me and we can, you know, my new empire and all that stuff. I'm sure that's exactly. what he said. Exactly. Um, we're talking about Ayla Secura here. The big boobus herself, um, Kylo Ren just can't take turns. It's kind of an off-meta stun, you know. Kylo Ren on mass has a two-turn stun. Indirect it's, stun, yeah, it's exactly. very it's, strong. It's the yep. passive, right? It's the unique. Yep. And because of her unique ability, Big Boobus, Kylo Ren just never takes a turn. When he never takes a turn, he can never pop alt. He can never reduce your mastery. And this character plugged in with, let's say, a Padme team, because remember, she oh, is Galactic Republic. That is nasty. She is oh going to get... Do you hear run me that yourself? I do, I do, I do. I've actually oh, used this in testing on stream. Um, so she is oh going to get courage. She is going to wow. increase her damage because of the stacks of courage. But also what you want to do is you want to kind of revert save. You know, let's say you have like PowerPoint or something. And uh, exactly. not PowerPoint, but like Photoshop. And then your Adobe subscription runs out. But you just never updated it. So you kind of just get to keep the older version of Photoshop indefinitely. It's like that. You want to revert save or just don't update. Go back to Conquest 1. In Conquest 1, you remember, you could gain turn meter, large amounts of turn meter from data disks. And it even worked with Padme, who's technically not allowed to gain churn meter. So if you revert save, bring you in Big Boobus under Padme. Padme oh, man, team plus brilliant. insane. Because if you throw in Yoda, you're getting, what, 8, 10 buffs? That's 50-ish percent turn meter. Yeah. Plus Big Boobus, SLKR, I will never see the light of day. He doesn't take well, turns. What's, what's the rest of the team? How many you got here? Five, six, seven, eight guys? No, it's actually only three. Only um, three. Padme and Anakin, you know, they're Dude, there that's because... perfect for GA. Yeah, exactly more undersizing more oh, banners wow. you know they're a couple and every couple has that weird third wheel who's like kind of more attractive yeah. than the first one so anakin sometimes averts his gaze it's kind of that meme where like the guy's walking with his girlfriend he goes like huh and then she's like oh don't look at her but uh you know it goes both ways because she can stun both her own anakin but also the opposing SLKR, which in my opinion is a definitely a big return on a benefit that is very strong. I actually have not tested out myself, but I, I have think some footage. Some... I'll send it to you do on you? Discord. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Gotcha. All right, All do you right. have one do more team to finish off? Here? I think you've been saving right. a special team, and we were debating right, well. very much back and forth on whether okay. or not we should leak this because we kind of wanted to do this internal testing first. This is not a proven commodity. This oh. is a theory craft it's, in so much uh, as it's a theory. Yeah, so lay it down on us. It's not even really been able to test this. It's solely just my my brain, what I can what I can accomplish with inside my brain and mm -hmm. my theories, my crafting, trying to put it all together. Because mm -hmm. um, when you add theories and crafting, off you people. oftentimes get theory crafts, right? Kind of oh, like yeah. mine and I mean, craft. It's like a zone. I mean, like the the zone. I'm just solely focused on the craft, and mm -hmm. the best way I craft is not just like in my own kind of like place you know mm -hmm. just me myself and I. I have to go to others in discords mm -hmm. and, and see you know bounce some ideas off of them. So. Probably one of the, the best theory crafts um, that I would love to test in the future, but at the moment it's just solely a theory craft. Um, is going to be something with some rebels. Um, this oh man, it's it's hard to say because I can't test, but in the theory it's all there. So if you guys know CLS's lead, I mean this kind of plays in the part with CLS and also with uh, 3PO and Chewie, the, the Chewpio. Um, a lot. If you guys haven't played with these guys just yet, these guys have some insane insane turn meter and also turn meter reduction mechanics to the team so i know the people that, that usually use this team they like to use cls chewbacca the og one han solo 3po and then this chewpio well now i'm going to tell you a nice new 
fourth and fifth that you are going to be wanting to use here. We're not going to be using, we're not going to be using the OG Chewie. We're not going to be using 3PO. Instead here, we're going to be using some guys that can revive and also do some massive AOE damage. So these guys, I'm going to go over right now in this craft. This in my, in my theory craft, like I said, I haven't tested this out, but this can have an insane effect on counters to GLs. And I'm thinking, you know, we talk about the Kylo counters, we talk about the Ray counters and, and so on and so forth. Well, this one's going to be working very, very well against Master Kenobi. So this one right here, we're going to be talking about one with CLS lead, 3PO, or I mean, 2PO. I get those guys mixed up all the time. 2PO, Han Solo, because you need that big fat DPS. Mm -hmm. and the big fat D. Some, it definitely helps the team The big out. fat D, dude. The biggest of Ds. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to need srp you know this guy is great for fleet but we're gonna actually be using him in the offensive ways um so scare for Rebel pathfinder with some of the revives like i've been saying and also we're gonna be throwing in this is a new one probably people haven't been using this beforehand well we're gonna be using lando og lando and the reason i'm gonna be bringing him up is because you can under this team in the cls leading the rebels you are actually able to use not just one leadership but two leadership so you now have even more speed to outspeed the master kenobi and then also going to be able to outspeed that mass or not master but that commander ahsoka so this is going to be very huge getting off that big old damage off the bat mm -hmm. getting that stun on master kenobi with your han solo's sh uh, shot first and then go straight onto the commander ahsoka so you know young not young lando but lando he is super awesome with his crits, guys. You can just be spamming crits day in and day out. I would actually go and mod him for as much crit chance as possible to maximize the crits. But I think the biggest the biggest guy here in my in my theory crafting here is really the revive. You know, the revive here, if you guys don't know anything about Master Kenobi and his, uh, his whole team, is that you can still revive even if somebody were to die. So you can potentially get this guy in an infinite loop of reviving, having him taunt, and then having their the uh, surrounding rebels doing some massive stuns massive damage and also massive tmr and that's really the biggest thing in this team is the tmr mechanics especially against master kenobi mm -hmm, and that's absolutely. why i bring it up against master kenobi because he is just super super tough right now in the game especially since you know the kylo counter and the emperor counters are now going away so i think you know this is just a theory craft and all that but i think it has some potential here um to really do a big solid dent into those those kenobis because kenobis right now are just super super annoying and perhaps even against lord vader's once i have some t to test against you know lord vader's mm -hmm. probably gonna not be able to beat um be able to handle the cls team man oh my gosh these guys are hot it is so, it is quite the tenacious d quite the uh quite the offensive d. the output you know the tmr yeah. tm gain versus kenobi is going to be fantastic once Fatal gets a raise at work, he'll be able to afford yeah. Lord Vader, and you'll get that testing. It'll be fantastic. I can, I can reach out to him this weekend, maybe yeah. something. You know, maybe uh, do a couple yeah. of favors for his boss. You know, get him in good standing. It'll be a good situation. All right, we're going to end the video here. We're trying to get 10,000 subscribers by Halloween for our Slave Leia cosplay stream. If that's something you guys want to be a part of, that would be awesome. If not, no big deal. As always, from me and my intern, who will not be paid and probably go back to jail when I finish this video, we love you, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.